Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in the Founders Club, which is in Sarasota, Florida. It's an absolutely beautiful area of Florida. And we're gonna show you this home behind me. behind me was built by John Cannon Homes, amazing builder. And this home has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 5,204 square feet of living all on one story. So absolutely has some amazing spaces in there. And this home has some features that we haven't seen before. One thing is the primary bathroom is one of the most luxurious bathrooms I've ever seen with some pretty cool features. And then also it has a driving range in here, uh, which you don't really see in many homes. And then also has a chef's pantry. So the biggest pantry we've ever filmed as well. So the home, if you want to get it like this, is going to cost you about 3.5 million and up. Um, and of course today is June 1st, 2022. So that price is only valid for today. If you want the most accurate pricing, make sure you give us a call. All our contact information will be below, or you can call me at 4 407-487-3030. Be more than happy to help you. Today behind the camera, we have Haley. If you're new to the channel, she is my daughter. She does a lot of filming for us. And this is the first time she's filming us as a high school graduate. So congratulations, Haley, for graduating from high school. And uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and show you the rest of the home. So as we come up, of course, we see this really nice paved driveway that curves into a three-car garage. We're not gonna actually be able to show you the three-car garage because that's where they have their current offices, where they sell from. Uh, but it's absolutely got plenty of space in there. And of course we have the slate roof all the way around. And then the elevation of the home and the little features of the home are really cool. You'll see the little features underneath the roof, the architectural features going all the way along the roof line. And then of course we come to the front of the house, which is a very grand house. The ceilings in the front are 15 foot tall. So you get those really large things that if you look at, if you look at me and actually the height of the actual uh, house, you'll see how grand the house is. And of course we have this stonework going through on the columns and also on the edge of the homes. Another feature I like is how they have the light gray and then the dark browns and the whites. And I think all the colors just really pop and do really good job as far as making the house look like a very beautiful home. So as we come up, we go from the pavers, we go to the stone uh, uh, step coming up to the onch entryway. And then of course behind me, you'll notice this very large door. It's actually a 12 foot swivel door. It swivels right about there. So let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of this home. All right, so welcome into this beautiful home. Now, as I close the door, the tour is actually called a pivot door, not a swivel door. Uh, did a little mistake there on the outside of the house. But as we come in, you'll see how grand this luxury house is. Right behind me is gonna be that 12 foot door. Not only is the door 12 feet, but the ceilings here are 15 feet tall. So as you look up, you can see how tall they are. And of course we have the woodworking architectural finishes on the top and the lantern, lantern above us. So as you come in through the entry, we go over to the other side. Right behind the camera is gonna be the family room. And it is a large family room. Of course, 5,204 square feet. You have tons of space. This is one of these large rooms. Um, behind me, we have an electric fireplace and of course porcelain tile. Porcelain tile goes all the way up to the ceiling. We have crown moldings above us and also a tray ceiling with LED lights all the way around to give it really nice ambience. And then on the other side here, we got the sliding doors that go out to this beautiful pool and outdoor living area that we'll show you later. And of course we have a nice pond view as well. But before we go behind the camera, I'm gonna go over here and show you the office. So as we come in through this door, we have an office. Now the office is really nice. It also has a 15 foot ceilings and, uh, and also crown molding. And then we have the built-in shelf. So really cool design shelf with really neat wallpaper behind it to put all your sort of decorative stuff there as well. Now, the rest of this whole side of the house is gonna be the primary bedroom suite. We'll show you that later. Going through this door goes into the exercise room and sauna. But the first thing we're gonna do is go over here. This is a powder room. So we come into the powder room. They have this really nice pedestal sink and of course a mirror with brass around it and this beautiful um, tile work going all the way up to the ceiling. But even the toilet is fancy in this house. As you walk up to it, it just automatically opens. Everything's sort of controlled here with digital controls. Absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and take you on a tour on the other side of the home. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you like the video. Also subscribe to our channel if you like looking at really cool luxury houses. 
this is definitely a channel to check, especially for Florida, but we're hoping to get to other areas as well. So here we are in another area. It's actually the dining room. So the dining room and the kitchen is all sort of one area. We currently do have an eight person dining table. This really cool LED light fixture coming down from the ceiling and the ceiling, if you look at the ceiling, it goes all the way through, all the way through to the kitchen. It's architecturally designed with LED lights throughout the trace as you go through to the kitchen. Now, on the other side of the dining room, we have a temperature controlled wine cellar. So pretty much you can put all your really nice wines in here, plenty of space that you can fit two wines on each of the little uh, levels here. And then of course it has a, a, a tile backsplash on there. It looks a little bit like bamboo. If you look at it, it's actually tile. So, and then of course behind us is the kitchen. So let's look at this kitchen. So we have this, which is a kitchen. And then we have the chef's pantry, which is as big as the kitchen. So you got to wait and check that out. So as we come here, the first thing we notice is the center island. Center Island is absolutely amazing. Very, very good size. Enough to fit four people to eat breakfast here if you wanted to. It has a waterfall um, side to it. So the actual counter comes up and goes over the side. And then on the other side here, we do have the refrigerator. Um, this is a really nice refrigerator. So as I open it up, um, it is a Liber refrigerator. I might have butchered the name, but that is actually very, very high end refrigerator. And then of course the freezer is on the other side. So as we come along, we do have the microwave. The microwave is pretty neat. You have it here. You just hit the button to open and close. Um, so nice high tech microwave. And then of course we have the countertops going all the way around and then this backsplash. And I love the backsplash. It's sort of like diamond shape with the white and the blacks really does a good job and it matches really good with the actual gray counters and the white countertops. Now we come over to this side of the kitchen and the first thing that you're going to notice is of course the picture window looking out and you look out on your herb garden. So you actually grow your vegetables there and then of course we have some beautiful landscaping past that. But then we have this range which is one of the most fancy ranges I've ever seen. So it is gas. It is an F Bertenzinol range. I really butchered that. So apologize, but we'll write it down below so you know what it is. But absolutely fancy. Um, we do have an oven here. And then of course, we have a little extra space here for, for uh, more stuff. Lots of cooking. If you're into cooking, this is it. Unfortunately, I'm not into cooking. So I apologize for those that are. Um, and then over here, we do have the dishwasher. We have our nice sink. And of course, the faucet. And of course, these pendant lights that are globe shaped that pop down, I like those. I really think they actually are the perfect size for this kitchen. So as we go around, we do have a vent that vents up over the actual stove top. Uh, and then we come up to more storage. So you have plenty of storage here and they're all soft clothes. Of course, it's an extremely high end home. So you have all this uh, you know, high quality materials going into it. But if this is not enough storage for you, for your kitchen, follow me, I wanna show you what else they have now on this side over here is going to be the media room and stuff we'll show you that later but let's come down this direction first and go here so if i go right they do have this sliding door uh, that opens and closes for the chef's pantry check this out this is a pantry people it's amazing 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 so we have tons of storage here and of course we actually have you know a chef quality refrigerator right behind me here they have it looks like they have yeah, they have fake eggs in here. So I just realized that I was looking, I was like, those look like plastic. So really cool dis displays. Um, you know, all, obviously we even have like cherries and stuff like that on that side as well. We do have a center island in this room also with plenty of storage on either side. And then we also have a dishwasher and then we have a sink so you can sit here. And then of course, whoever's doing the dishes can look out at the nice landscaping. And that's not all. We still have a door. And as we go out this door, what we see is we have our herb garden or vegetable garden. So it's all set. We have peppers growing over here, tomatoes over here. You have some more areas over here. So if you need that fresh ingredients, all you have to do is come into your pantry, go out the door, and then you have it. Now behind the camera is gonna be the laundry room. We'll show you that as we go around. So come ahead and follow me. We'll pass all this nice storage area here as well and go and show you that laundry room. We do have a full bathroom here that we'll show you once we go to the bedroom on that side. But first of all, let's go ahead and go right. Um, this will be close to where the garage is. So we do have a drop zone here where you can drop, you know, keep keys and stuff like that. And also keep your coats and umbrellas and stuff in this specific closet here. But 
Follow me here, this is the laundry room. We have some really cool tile. I love this tile, it's hexagon. And then it's actually placed in a way where we have like light gray to dark gray as it goes out. I think that's really cool tile. And then of course we have all this area. You can do crafts over here if you want to do some sort of crafts. So if you're into crafts, you can do some knitting, sewing, anything you want here, nice window looking out. And of course, as we continue, we have storage, we have shelves, and then of course cabinets, and then this actual stone backsplash, which is, goes, I think, really well with this specific room. The designers in this home did an amazing job. And of course we have the sink, it's very deep, so if you need to do anything, any cleaning or anything like that, you can do that, especially if you're coming in from the outside, because the actual uh, chef's pantry is right through here that we saw earlier, and then you can go right outside and it just has a sliding door where you can open and close it. So let's go ahead and go back out. I want to show you a couple other features that are right over here. So behind this door is going to be a three-car garage. It's currently the office area. They're, they're having a meeting right now, so we can't go in there. But it's just a three-car garage, a nice spacious three-car garage. But we do have that side entry that we talked about when we we're outside. So if you need to come in and then want we'll to come through the main part of the house, you can go ahead and use this door. Also, it's nice and convenient because if you're doing yard work, you can come in here and go right to that laundry room that has a sink. So let's go ahead and go this direction. And then we're going to go right and show you Bedroom number two, so we're finally at a bedroom. The first thing we have is to our right, which is the nice walk-in closet. Plenty of space there. And then we come into the bedroom. So this is bedroom number two. Uh, as you can see, this does have a 15 foot ceilings as well, because it's on the front of the house. Had this beautiful chandelier above us. And of course this uh, wallpaper that really just makes the room pop. I like the colors, I like the grays and the blacks. It does a really good job. And then we come over to the full bathroom. So this one does have a way where you can lock the door over there, have your own like sort of suite, or you can open this up so other people can use this bathroom as well. But the one thing that stands out to me on this bathroom is gonna be the tile work here that goes all the way up to the ceiling. Typically behind the toilet and stuff, you just have a, just a wall, but they've actually done tile, which goes all the way from the shower, all the way through. And of course there's nice circle mirror. And then we have the cabinets. And then of course it also has a soft close here on the cabinets here, gray countertop, and of course, we have the shower, which is over in this direction. So you can step down into the shower. I do have the brass fixtures here that I think go really well with the color of this tile. So let's go ahead and uh, let's follow me here. We do have a, uh, like a towel closet here to put all your towels. And then as we come through, we'll go over to the other side of the house. Now, if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere in Florida, make sure you give me a call. My number is 407-487. 3030, be more than happy to get you in touch with the right people in the area um, or also the right sales reps with these if you already have a realtor. Um, so as we come over here, we go right, um, we move into a ceramic tile floor and I love this actual design here, sort of like a woodwork design. Um, and then you have a really dark gray, but the coolest feature on this is got to be this mirror. So the mirror actually, it, you know, sort of goes in, it sort of floats off here, but you just push that button right there to turn it on and off, really neat. Um, and then of course we have toilet and then we come into the shower. Shower's also got some really nice dark grays and light grays shades going on. They've even painted the ceiling black, which sort of just makes everything just pop really, really well. I think it does a really good job, right? So let's go ahead and go right. This will be bedroom number three. So we do have our closet and then of course we have a bed. This is plenty of space here. We have an end table on either side, windows on, on, on either side as well. And then we also have a door here. This door goes out to that vegetable garden we saw earlier. So if you're here in the middle of the night and you get a little bit hungry, you can easily just go out the door, grab yourself a tomato, you'd be all set. So let's go ahead and uh, continue. And this door, we'll go out this door in a minute. This door goes out to the pool area. So we'll show you that in just a minute, but we'll come over. This is the entertainment area of the home. So wait a minute, wait, we got French doors. So we welcome to our entertainment area. As we come into this, we have a media room, couch, we can hang out, play games. There's a huge TV here. And then you even have a little bar, kitchenette area. This kitchenette area has a sink. Also has plenty of storage for glasses and you can you know, leave whatever you might need here. I love the backsplash. It's a hexagon backsplash that's mirrored and has like an antique finish to it, like a distress finish to it. I think it's really beautiful. It goes really well with the countertops. So absolutely cool. But 
One of the cool features we talked about when we first came in here is the driving range. So this one has a driving range. So we go here, we go from that engineered hardwood floor to actual AstroTurf floor in your own home. And of course, this is done by TrackMan. So if you're into golf, you'd understand the TrackMan is one of the best you can get as far as having a driving range. And this is what it has. Some of the sales reps told me that they've been here and practice and it works really good. Um, but of course, you could, if you're not into golf, you can use this that has blackout windows that are automatic all the way through this whole area. You can black this whole area out and just watch movies here and set this up as a movie theater as well as you want. Now above me is gonna be the projector and the projector is connected to a floating ceiling with some really nice woodworking around it. And of course it goes into what looks like a theater on the other side. So really cool. I, I don't think I'd ever leave here if I if I bought this house. It has everything that you sort of need. So as we come through here, we're gonna go ahead and go outside. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe. We definitely appreciate that and appreciate all our viewers and all the comments below. We'll get to them as soon as I can. I will reply to them all. So let's go ahead and go outside. I'll see you out there. All right, so welcome to the outdoor living area. And the outdoor living area of this home is probably one of the best outdoor living areas I've seen in any home I've been in. So the first thing we do is let's go ahead and talk about the summer kitchen right here in front of us. So as we come out, we have the summer kitchen. This one's got some really nice stonework on it and it actually matches the cabinets as well. We do have a refrigerator. And then of course we have a really high end barbecue. This is an El Fresco barbecue. I can actually say that word. So sorry for butchering the other ones earlier on those really high end Italian uh, stove top we had in the kitchen. But as you can see, we do have a nice backsplash. It has these little circles that sort of pop out in a three dimensional way. High end vent, venting all the great smells of barbecue outside. And of course we do have a sink and some more storage areas. Now over on this other side, we do have a little area here where you can sit have a couple drinks, enjoy the Florida weather. And then of course we come to multiple, multiple different areas, hangout areas. First one's right here, set up for a four seat area where you can sit and enjoy the nice Florida weather. And then if you look on the other side, we do have these sliding glass doors. Now these sliding glass doors will open all the way up and it actually goes and it's hideaway. So all four panes will actually go behind the wall there and open it right up to that media room that we we're in earlier, which is a really nice feature. So you can bring the outdoor living in, expand your outdoor living and have that all that extra space there as well if you're having a party. Now on the other side over here, we do have an outdoor dining area. So this has got eight people, eight person set up as well. And then all throughout this whole area that's covered above us, you're gonna see these ceilings and it's a composite tongue and groove ceiling going all the way down on, on everything that's underneath, uh, as far as underneath the roof here. And of course we do have this beautiful light fixture above us as well. Now, as we continue to go, we go into the pool area and this is a really nice, very, very long pool. It's a beautiful view from the family room, of course, because how long it is going all the way out. And of course you see the beautiful landscaping and the pond behind us. We do have the stairs going down, a little tanning shelf up here too, if you want. And my favorite feature of the whole thing is this little, uh, little bridge that goes along here. So we can just walk right across to the other side. Um, and then we come over to the other side and then we see this other living area over here. Now, what I really like also is the landscaping. So they have this really nice landscape with the actual pebble work. And then we go into a little extra area and they've split it off with you know these, these actual um, walls here. And then we also have glass walls on either side, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. And then we have a step up onto a wood platform to your fire pit with these really cool modern looking benches that you can sit here, put the fire pit on. So if it is a little cool in Florida, right now it's not, but if it is a little cool, you can put the fire pit on and enjoy a nice little thing out here. You can tell some ghost stories or whatever you might want to do out here. And of course, on the other side, we come, we step down from this platform. And I love how they have these features where we now step back up into this French door area, going into the primary bedroom suite, which we still have not seen. Uh, absolutely beautiful area. We had these architectural uh, features as well that really make this house shine and we do have light fixtures on either side. Now these light fixtures are the same light fixtures we saw out in the garage. I didn't mention that at the beginning, but they do match those garage light fixtures. So let's go ahead and go back because we haven't finished the outdoor area yet. There's even more area for the outside, which is over here, which we see as a, like a living room area. So not only do you have some space over there to sit out and hang out, you can do it here as well. So you can have quite a few people here all enjoying their each other's company. Sit here, enjoy some nice, times talking about things and of course we have the sliding glass door that goes into the family room. Now on the other side if I go through here we go to the primary bedroom suite. So let me go ahead and go inside and we'll show you the rest of this home.
All right, so welcome into the primary suite, and this is absolutely one of the best suites I've ever seen in a house. So as you come in, this is the bedroom area. We do have a king-size bed, and as you can see, we have an end table on either side. Beautiful wallpaper going all the way around. I like the dark color wallpaper and how it goes with the actual dark gray that we see throughout the rest of the room. The ceilings here are also very tall. We do have the tray ceiling above us. We have lots of crown molding and of course this beautiful light fixture that comes down um, right over the bed. So, and then not only does this have the bedroom, but you do actually have a little sitting room back here as well where you can sit, read a nice book at night if you want to just before you get ready for bed. Or you can open up these French doors, go out to that fire pit that we saw earlier. Absolutely an amazing little retreat here uh, for the primary suite. Now, as we come through this way, um, we are about to get into what I think is some of the coolest parts of the home. But the first thing is this is actually the entrance to the from the main house to the primary, and it's a, it's a French door. So I gotta show you that it opens up to your primary suite, which is goes all the way through. Now, as we come here, we do have two closets, one on either side. So we're gonna show you the smallest one first, which is actually still pretty amazing. So come over here and let me show you this. So here is closet number one. Obviously you got some really nice colors. It's a dark wood. Um, we even have a barnyard door here with a mirror on it. So you have this mirror where you can open and close it. So you can get into some more um, storage areas here as well, where you can open it this way here and store th some things on the side. Of course, it goes all the way around. You have your shoe rack. You even have some sling glass areas. And then of course, more hanging area shelves with LED lighting on the shelves. Not only does it have LED lighting on each of the shelves, all the way around on the floorboard, you also have that LED lighting. And so it goes on, on also all the way along the top it does. And of course, this light fixture above us as well. Now, let me show you what I think is really neat, which is the other closet. So as I come over here, and both of these closets do have the sliding doors so you can open and close like that. But as I come in here, the first thing on the left is gonna be a privacy door. Now this door goes into the shower tub area. We'll show you that in a little bit, but we're gonna go over on this side. Check this out. This is all white, um, highly upgraded cabinets. We have the actual uh, glass front so you can see you can have all your really nice shoes on here. If you have shoes, LED lights on every single shelf and then it goes throughout. So you also have the hanging area for dresses here and a little bit shorter dresses. And then of course it goes all the way through all the way up to the top too. You actually have shelves up there. On the center, you actually have a center island and this is like going to a jewelry store. It's like, hey Haley, which, which uh, earrings do you want or bracelets do you want? And just pull out the bracelets. Um, so you have like a little display case right here for all your jewelry, absolutely amazing. And as we continue to go around, we even have this area where these little hanging bars come down where you can hang more clothes on it as well. But here's the cool part. If you are sitting here and you're like, I really want some natural light to actually see what I'm doing, you just push this button on this remote. And then what happens is that the curtains open up and now you have the outside in as far as really natural light and it's still private because this whole area has a wall built all the way around that's private. We weren't expecting that when I opened it up, right? With a jacuzzi, a little wood platform out there. We'll show you that as we go out there in a little bit. But I think this is absolutely amazing. The first time we saw this house, we we're like, wow, we gotta come and film this house. This is a beautiful, beautiful home. So let's go ahead and go through here and show you the rest of the home. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, so welcome into the bathroom. So as we go into the bathroom, Haley's actually walking right through the shower right now. As I come into the frame, you'll see that now I am in the shower. Uh, it's a little bit different, it's an open concept shower. It's the first time I've ever seen it. Um, but if you wanted to, you could easily put in glass around here if you wanted, or you can leave it at the open concept. Like we see here, the drain is right down here. We have the nice tile work going throughout. And of course we have the little, little squares and then it goes into the big rectangles going out throughout the rest of the bathroom. We have our tub here, a couple of champagne glasses so you can enjoy a nice evening here, maybe even go out to jacuzzi outside. Um, and then of course, above me are these amazing ceilings, wood beams, they painted it brown, goes really well with the actual uh, rest of the actual bathroom with the grays and the whites. Um, and then we do have our different sinks. We do have two sinks. Uh, this one here is a floating countertop um, with some nice grays and then also countertop. The sink itself has a faucet coming right out of the wall and then sort of has a floating uh, base on here where all the water actually drains on the edges of the actual sink. And of course, this beautiful mirror that has a frosted mirror on the outside with LED lights all the way around gets it a really cool look. Now, as we come through here, we do have our shelves here where you can put some decor, towels or whatever you might want. And then we open up 
into a little water closet. So the water closet, you do have you know, the toilet and you also have a bidet here. So you all set here and it also has some privacy as well. So as we come out of the water closet, uh, we'll go this direction. We do have a very similar setup on this side as we did on the other. Now, what's really nice is everything's so high quality here. You push that open, it opens up itself. So the drawers are just really, really high end quality going all the way around. So as I come through this direction, I'm gonna show you this area. So the actual ceilings go all the way through and you have that same shape on the glass, looking out to this beautiful spa area that you have outside and you have pivot doors on either side. I think that's really neat. So, but it keeps on going. So we go through this one here, which is another privacy glass and we come into our exercise room and sauna. So as we come over here, the first thing we'll do is we'll go over this direction. This is like where you can get your weights done. So they have a weight set up. They have this open so you get the natural light or if you wanted to, you can close these curtains just like we did in the closet and you have a little bit more privacy here. They even have a mirror here. This is a high tech exercise equipment, similar to what we have. We have a tonal at our house. So it's really cool uh, as far as exercise equipment. Now on the other side, they currently have it all set up here for a gym. Um, they do have the door here going through the office that we saw when we first started the video. And of course, above us is a nice ceiling with some really cool wallpaper in the ceiling as well. Now, as we come, we have the sauna. The sauna is all here. They actually have instructions here exactly on how to actually use the sauna. So you can just put the different temperature you want in the timer and you're all set here and just follow everything. And you go in through this glass door and then you welcome into the sauna. Um, and as we come in, we do have the salt rock LED lights behind us and of course over here. And I wish I could show you the smell or have you smell this through YouTube. It's got that cedar smell. It's absolutely, it's, a, it's an amazing smell to do it. If you're in the area and you're, you know, wanna, oh, you have to come by and check out this house. It's absolutely beautiful. So as we come through, we'll close that back up and then let's go ahead and go outside and check out what we have outside. So we come through here and we open up this swivel door. Everything's just so solid in this house. I mean, John Ken has done an amazing job on building this house. And then we come out here, we do have that marble floor going out here. And of course, this is a second outdoor living area. We have a jacuzzi behind me with some really, really nice tile work. Uh, even has some landscaping with some tropical bushes above us. This is all screened in as well, which is nice. So, and then over on this side, we do have a little bench and then also I think this is like a little fake plant but it makes it like it's like a little fancy little outdoor spa area and then of course we have a wood platform where you can step up and you can sit here if you wanted to you know you can just have a good old time and then of course we also have that same sort of bush over there and then a door that goes out to the outside of the home so that's this whole home uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour now if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere in Florida make sure you give me a call my name is Mike my phone number is 407-487-3030 you can call or text at any particular time. Also, if you're looking to actually purchase a home anywhere in the nation and you need help with financing, we do have the Bank of England that we work closely with. Um, all their contact information will be below as well. Just give them a call and tell them that you saw them on our channel and they'll be take great care of you. Kevin over there is an amazing person to work with and getting a good lender is an important partner when you buy a house. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you all next week. Take care.